Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I managed to find the new Hyundai Kona 2024 version and in this video I want to present you interior, exterior, I try to give you some technical data and material quality, multimedia system, space everything about the car you will find out in this video. For the moment this car you cannot find it everywhere is there are only in a few places and the car is not ready for the test drive but as soon as i get the car for a test drive i will do the test drive i will do the consumption and all other information will come soon so if you're new on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out now here i want to tell you something guys before we start the video is that the car not only that it makes small improvement not only that it's a new model but Hyundai come with a lot of new crazy nice features I don't even need to tell you that the exterior design it's much more beautiful than the previous version if on the previous version I was like okay Hyundai Kona it's fine it's a great option now after they change the design after they make the car much more modern and futuristic and also more spacious than before I think it's a really really good crossover city SUV to take into the consideration in 2024 and keep in mind this car was built with electricity in mind this car was built on an electric platform and then they integrate the internal combustion engine in the car even though the electric versions are not ready yet on the market today we have a petrol version uh, actually is the hybrid version that I think in my opinion if you would like to buy this Hyundai Kona and you don't want to have it in electric version I think this hybrid version 1.6 liter is the best option to go because you have the power you have the economy and you have also the technology today we have the the full option right here and I will try to present you every single features of the car before we go forward I want to give you some technical data about the car and then we will start to review the exterior and then we will go inside the, the car as well so this version that I have with me is the 1.6 liter petrol engine hybrid system but you can get the car with a one liter petrol engine 120 horsepower manual and also automatic now on this version 1.6 liter you can get it pure petrol automatic you can get it pure petrol manual and you can get it automatic hybrid like we have this version right here and let me give you some technical data about the car as i said it comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 141 horsepower 265 newton meters the top speed of the car 166 kilometer per hour 0 to 100 in 11.2 seconds co2 emission around 170 grams it's a front wheel drive version that means the petrol engine and the motor it's also positioned in the front and it will drive the front wheel of the car the weight of the car 1525 kilograms also the space in the back it's a little bit bigger than what was before on the other versions and it comes with 407 liters also the tank 38 liters on this hybrid version if you fold down the seats completely in the back you will have a space of 1000 around 1300 liters it comes with a six speed dct automatic transmission combined with uh, all those uh, electric motor and also the petrol engine a few more information about the electric motor it's integrated in the transmission and it has 44 horsepower also the internal combustion engine the petrol engine come with 105 horsepower the turning circle 10.6 meter it's pretty good for a crossover also in terms of suspension we have independent McPherson suspension on the front and multi-link independent on the rear they should be good I can't wait to test the car to see how it's on the road also ventilated brake this on the front and ventilated brake this on the rear the car come also with 18 inch 
rim set list on this version and guys as you probably know also the car have integrated a small battery around one kilowatt hour that helped the electric motor and I'm, I'm really excited to test this car and to take it for a test drive to see how it's on the road but until then let's review the car and then in the end as always we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start inside the cabin because outside it's a little bit noisy it's extremely hard to make this review with many people that comes and go but I still try to do it and as soon as I get the car outside I will make another videos where I explain you uh, more first of all let's start with the interior what I notice once you are inside right here it's that everything is kind of changed in terms of design and it looks much much futuristic much better I will tell you what I love and what I'm not so happy with but one thing it's for sure I love this steering wheel the grip of the steering wheel it's so special you have a nice grip right here and then it, they make it also a little bit special on the side here the grip so you have a very very good grip from my point of view I love the way they design the steering wheel and I like the fact that they make a big place here so you can see through the steering wheel directly on the cockpit I will actually here is the star stop engine they, they still keep this uh, star stop engine button in the same style as Hyundai uses with and what I notice inside the cabin is the fact that it has a lot of elements that looks the same as on for example Ionic 5 it looks a lot and also a few elements that looks like Ionic 6 and I like that very much I like that they bring that electric future feeling inside the, the car right here then another element that I like very much and I want to show you I like the fact that they move the gear shifter right here behind the steering wheel the same as Tesla have the same as Volkswagen have on the ID and I like it it's it's very nice it looks nice it's also easy to use for example you want to go in drive you go forward you want to go in reverse you go reverse you want to put it in park you just press this park button super easy and much better because now they are able to have much more space right here in the center console look how much space you have here and also you can push those for the cup holders but also the great part is that you can hide those cup holders supports just like that super super good I like that another thing that I like is the fact that you have this armrest right here in the middle right and then you have to press this button and then you can put it up you have some storage space but you can get out also this part of the storage space and then you have much more space down there in this area so I mean the center console it's huge you have a lot a lot of uh, story space now talking about the key look at the key it's so cool I love the key it's kind of the same key as Hyundai uses on Ionic 6 but with a little bit different design what you can do with the key unlock the car lock the car and from the side you can open the trunk automatically because this car come uh, with the option to open the trunk automatically this is the top end version the luxury I think they call it and it comes with a lot of features that probably the basis entry level doesn't come with that's something that you have to check to present you but you have to check if you would buy the car you have to ask the, the salesman now going forward here in the middle of the center console you have different driving modes and the car come with different driving modes you have to rotate this and you can see on the screen we have three driving modes eco sport and snow mode really interesting and also we will test those when we will do the the test drive and on the side here are the uh, heated seats we have heated seats for you and the passenger and this button here it's empty because I heard in some countries they have some seats where you have also ventilated seats I'm not sure which options I'm not sure if they come only on electric cars or what is the thing with those but I was super happy when I heard that the car come with ventilated seats but if you know more information on which version it comes uh, write me in the comment guys then you have heated steering wheel it comes also with auto hold function you can activate it from here very simple parking sensors and then we have these cameras like 
usually the car also come with a 360 degrees camera and also it comes with that feature that when you change the position of the uh, turning signals you will see the camera around here like you see in Tucson and all other uh, version but this version this car that I have with me right here it has only reverse camera and you can see here you have free position to see it like for the hook like a normal view and like a wide view and also the car come with those lines active lines assist the resolution is very good I like that it's it's quite good and you can park the car very easy in, in the parking lot so this is really cool you can activate it from here you don't have to always go in reverse in order to see it another cool thing is the fact that down here you have a wireless charging you can leave your phone right here and it's pretty big space where you can uh, leave also a bigger phone a little bit higher we have USB-C we have two USB-C and what it's cool is the fact that for example if you put the cable here and then you want to charge your phone you put it on charge if you want to use it as connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and I will show you later uh, the, the one of the thing that I'm not so happy with it's the fact that you need a cable in order to use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and I will make a separate video about that how to connect it you have to press this button and right now you can see the colors are changing to connectivity and now it's changing to the charging in this way you can use it for connectivity and also for charging uh, in this way you can use it only for charging so pretty cool is the for the first time when I see uh, something like that then you have this USB only for charging and here we have the 12 volt port 180 watt outlet it's pretty cool and it's really interesting no more that classic uh, plastic protection now we have this super cool touch uh, opening right here I like that really cool another thing that I like is the dashboard it's pretty minimalist and interesting the way they design and I like the fact that it's quite flat you have a very good visibility outside so if you look around the windows visibility is really really good great visibility also in the mirrors we have huge huge mirrors outside and also you can see the blind spot a light right there in the corner quite beautiful mirrors I like the lines also here from the side and the shape of the mirrors look um, gorgeous like a proper SUV I should say I really like the mirrors are one of the pieces that I like then we go forward big windshield great visibility around the car so while you're driving I'm pretty sure you will have a good visibility maybe in the back there a little bit of blind spot in that area but overall it looks quite nice you can see one more time the seat in the back uh, look quite quite cool the armrest here it's very well positioned and uh, from what I notice you cannot adjust it it will stay like that but it's in good position right here so it's quite quite good now up here you have a speaker then we have the vents in the back here you have some vents also by the way talking a little bit about the vents the vents quality are really really good when you touch them they are so soft you can hear they are smooth they are soft they add that extra finesse to the car that I like it in, in comparison with the previous version down here again extra storage this is super super useful there you can add different items and then you have an LED light also up there here we have the glow box glow box is not that big but it's quite okay and also you have an LED light right there you can see there it's a white LED light that I like it's nice I like the fact that you don't have any more that even up here you have LED lights you don't have that fog lamp halogen lights anymore in the car and this is cool also very cool is this area here the way they design it with this kind of a uh, gray matte I like the way it looks like an aluminum mat it looks really really nice and also down here it's integrated the um, climatic system from here you can turn it on very simple you can choose the the temperature you can choose also the the vent speed you can choose the position from here where you want the air to go and then you have the AC synchronize uh, and then you have some physical buttons for uh, defrosting and then if you want to save some energy you go to driver only and then the air will will be used only for the driver in this area here and this is a really cool feature and easy to use and I love the fact that they keep physical button many people complain about touch screens 
uh, Hyundai on this new Kona keep physical button it's much more easy to use while you're driving super super convenient and this is one of the the thing that I like very much and if you want to turn it off you just press this button and now it's off then you have the start stop engine button you see it before here we have the volume and also from here you can close the uh, the navigation you have some ambient light around it also here on the side you can change the stations and then you have physical button here for hazard light for media search map home tracks and setup and this is also cool because all these buttons are shortcuts for the multimedia system if you want to go to map just press the map you are in the map right now if you want to go to search you just press search and then you just search for example a destination you go to media you go directly to to multimedia right here and then you go like setup and then you go directly into the setup where you have all the options we will go through together to all these things and i will try to show you a little bit later but let me finish right now with the first thing now you can see it appear here kind of a radar or like a face reader a small one that's a new feature for example when you're driving you're tired this area will read your face and it will tell you to pay attention to the road or put the hand on the steering wheel and also this system will work with uh, autopilot and this new uh, 1.5 i think they call it new autopilot system because the car come with the latest technologies from uh, Hyundai in terms of lane assist, emergency brake, adaptive cruise control and all that safety features. Here in this area, as you can see, they keep this magnet place, uh, the same as Ionic 5, where you can put different items. Uh, it looks like a speaker, but it's not. That's something to keep in mind. Another vent here on the left side. Then we have the stalks behind here. Very good quality on the stalks. I noticed that. And also very good quality on this one. It feels really, really nice when you touch it then we have those pedals you probably wonder why they have those pedals here on electric version i think they are for regenerative brake but on this version here are for changing the the gears for what i read on the hyundai website so from here if you want to have fun so with the car and even though it's an automatic one you can change the gears from those pedals then the steering gorgeous grip leather steering wheel i really like the shape and the design of the steering wheel it's nice from for me at least it's very nice and i like also this design here in the middle they still keep those rounded i don't know what these four points signify before was like pixels on ionic 5 and now they have those uh, those little dots and also they have it also here on the seats not sure what signify write me down in the comments i read but i didn't find uh, anything about that so probably the same pixels like like on ionic 5 then on the left side they still keep physical button for those controllers and i like that very much here we have the autopilot uh, and all that controllers like the lane assist emergency brake you can see they are also activate up there in the corner and then from here you can also a smart cruise control activate and from here you can change different views on the on the cockpit and i'll show you in a second from this uh, area here and then on the right side you have controllers for the voice command telephone uh, different modes in the in the navigation there and from here you can change also the fm and, and all that stuff and here is the volume you can change the volume from here very simple adjustment in the steering wheel manually up down forward backward super simple you just close it from here just like that not electric it's just manual then on the a pillar right here the quality is just fine we have this plastic white and then you have a speaker on the both places and then up here again on the roof the quality is quite fine it's not the best but i would say a seven from one to ten i would give it a seven quite good quality and i like the fact that e even up here you have an led light and you have a huge mirror this is really nice this vanity mirror with the light looks super super cool uh, and also this one protection for sun it's quite big and it's very very useful up here you have the mirror guys quite good and visibility in the back you can see you can make an idea from this area it's a quite big and quite nice um, i like it and also it's it's really tiny edges it looks quite fancy up here we have some leds led light 
then from here you can open the, the glass roof electrically you can open it up electrically but you can also close it completely electrically just like that you can make completely dark or you can actually open it very very simple and it's just like that and you can close it back super cool i think this is definitely something to take into consideration if you would buy the car then you have sos button up here and other than that that's all and we have the lights all right i will start the, the engine for a while if you press the brake press the start engine button it will say ready and now the car is ready to drive the cockpit look great it's very similar with what we see on other hyundai versions it still stays simple what i wish to see here and i am a little bit disappointed to say i wish i can see the full map but we don't have the full map on the screen we have only the directions it will show you only the direction on the cockpit i mean the cockpit it's so nice the colors are great but yeah why not the map you know i mean you have to see the map only here on the right side it's it's too bad because the screen look really really cool and will be nice to see a map full map in the front here but other than that you can also customize to see different information like for example right now you see all that autopilot stuff information in the middle and then if you go on the right side you can see engine temperature you can see the tire pressure you can see here what happened in real time with the battery with energy when it's loading the battery and stuff like that and here you can see also the current trip the, the consumption and all that information so it's pretty basically kind of the same as we see before and also even if you change for example the different driving modes you can see only the colors are changing there in the front and from this point of view i wish to see something more complex and complicated to change there in the front but other than that yeah i don't have anything to complain it's it's really really nice and the visibility it's great also this version doesn't come with a uh, head-up display not that you need it with all this information right here let me go in the middle here because we have a 12.3 inch display if i'm not wrong both of them are 12.3 inch display and i like the way they design it here they are a little bit rounded it's kind of a i don't know it looks nice i like that i see many more and more car manufacturers they try to design this uh, this shape and it looks nice the screens are big i like the fact that this one it's a little bit tilted to the driver in this way uh, it allows you to have a better visibility uh, on the screen another thing good part is that they use the same map and it's very very responsive it has a little bit of lag if you play with it you know like if you want to play fast like that it has a little bit of lag but for example, once you press a destination and then you just set destination, you will see that the processor is quite fast and it gives you two options. You have the fastest and the economic way. And this is nice. I'm, I like that to have on, on all cars. And the great part is that the car is connected to the Internet. You can see also the traffic information uh, on the on the route. For example, here where it's with yellow mean that the traffic in that area but other than that um it's it's a really good navigation system it's kind of the same navigation system as hyundai use it also on other models so uh, from this point of view it's really good you don't have to worry now if you want to go back to home you press this button this is the home screen here you have everything and if i'm not wrong you can kind of customize this i'm not sure yes you see you can customize this you can add first the radio station second the navigation and you can add also other stuff in the first place for example the weather you can play with those widgets here and customize and add it depend how you want it on this main screen but you can also connect here is the guest uh, like a guest to the car but you can create a user and you save all those things and all the settings are saved on your username now the second one is the hybrid on the hybrid here you have all the information about the engine electric motor and battery 
and the wheels while you're driving you can see a nice graphic information about the consumption and the electric mo motor usage so here you find a lot of useful information about the hybrid system then we will go to the second page we have the weather here because the car have connectivity to the internet you can see the weather for the next days also a cool feature um, then voice memo we have the phone projection as I told you another thing that I don't like too much I mean I'm super disappointed is the fact that the car doesn't come with Android and Apple CarPlay wireless you have to use an USB cable and I will do a, a video about that we have the calendar here you can synchronize and add stuff to the calendar then we have the settings if we go to the settings we have so many settings and look how interesting they design and they array here so we have the vehicle settings if you go to vehicle settings you have all these settings right here uh, very simple array driver assistance systems and they change kind of kind of change the array like it was before now it's a little bit different we have the driver assistance system like driver convenience driver safety and the driver attention warning if you go to driver convenience you will see that you have all this stuff right here hda is the system system providing lane keeping assist smart cruise control and automatic adjustment of vehicle speed according to speed limit then we have auto motorway speed change all this uh, stuff uh, come standard with the car then if we go let me go back to show you if we go uh, forward let me go here if we go to driver safety we will see that you have that the forward safety lane safety lane assist blind spot technology and safe exit all these safety features are crazy crazy useful and then we have the uh, driver attention warning that I told you before this is the driver attention warning because of this small thing here it will read your face and it will actually tell you to um, yeah to stop by or take the the control of the car and stuff like that if you fall asleep for example then if you go to echo vehicle here we have the coasting time here it's really interesting because you can choose how you like to recuperate the energy back into the battery like casting timing setting of the timing of the casting guidance we have early normal and late smart recuperation here green zone ev drive maximum use of ev driving to protect the environment so as much as possible use the the green stuff you can activate it from here so the car will try to drive as as uh, electric as possible then we have the climatic system all that uh, information and settings about the climatic system i will try to make a video really much deeper about those stuff so i don't i try to keep this video a little bit shorter then you have the ambient light here uh, you can go to ambient light you can change the brightness here and you can change also the colors you can see the car have a few colors you can add it to green to red however color you want you can change the color from here going back we have like link to the drive mode the color I mean it can link to the drive mode and then we have the doors automatic lock automatic unlock power tailgates all that settings are here for for the tailgates and the doors convenience here the alerts for the rear seats and yeah the wipers and stuff like that now let's go back all those things you already see them before and here we have the navigation settings of course here you have all the navigation settings uh, from the map so you can choose different uh, options then we have the sound settings here you find all the sound settings the position the equalizer the guidance radio driver assistance and connect device and then we have the phone connections that you see before uh, the Bluetooth settings, the phone projection, I told you before, uh, the thing is that you have to connect it to the uh, cable in order to, to use uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The layout here, from the layout you can also change the theme, uh, theme of the car and then the screensaver, split screen. Ah, let me go back. And then we have the display settings like the brightness of the display how bright you want the display to be the camera settings also the same story and blue light filter you can also add this to protect your your eyes for example 
Now, going forward, we have the, uh, the cluster, instrument cluster. Also here, the brightness, the theme, and the content selection, what kind of content you want to see there. It's not super customizable, but you have some extra options here. The blue link, of course, from the application, and then we have the general settings where you find all kinds of information about the car. You have the system information, memory, what's new, for example, and the modem information, the date and time. Here you can change language. You have plenty of languages to change from right here. And then you have the keyboards and units, kilometer miles, Celsius, Fahrenheit, um, and then you have media settings. And we have the reset, you can reset it to, to normal. And those are kind of all the settings. Um, you can also go back to home and then you can see right here the last page something really interesting that i want to show you that they bring new to the car is this sports on the sports you can see something really cool that you can see in other cars for example uh, you have football you have basketball golf and if you go to baseball for example you go mlb you can see the scores for example if a match it's playing right now you can see live score if you are a person that betting a lot on uh, sports teams and stuff like that you can see all the information right here you can see chicago plates zero free and colorado <laughs> how cool is that man this is really really interesting really interesting feature and then this is all like the vehicle diagnostic here the car will try to check if it has any errors or problems and it will give you a report right here and then on the right side the same as on the previous versions you can see some nice views in the same time when you have the other things right here on the side so this is also really cool and you can see right now all the systems are okay so Pretty cool, pretty much this is the multimedia system. Um, yeah, I think there are not so many people around outside. Let's go forward to review the other parts of the car. I wanna show you also the seats right here. It's a combination on this model between leather in this area and stuff material in, in the middle here. And I like the fact that you have those side support, you have bright enough here in the middle, they are big enough, so you have a pretty good comfort. And they are a little bit stiffer as well, so uh, they should be nice. I will test drive them and I will give you more information about that. Another cool thing is the fact that we have heated seats, heated steering wheel, and also we have electric adjustment in the seat, so you can adjust the seats electrically from here. You can adjust also the lumbar part, uh, from here really nice then the entrance right here we have normal pedals no aluminum pedals or stuff like that and also we have this button from where we can open the the tank and i will show you also when we go there and here we can open the front. We have some button up here for electronic handbrake. So the car come with electronic handbrake. From here you can open the, the trunk um, automatically. Then you have the position of the lights. We have the traction control and we have this 12 volt battery reset. One feature that I love to see on all the cars these days, because for example, if you forget your lights on or if you forget your engine on and the battery, 12 volt battery will run out of the power, you just come here, you just press this button and then the battery will reset and you have some extra power and you can uh, turn on the car and then you're good to go. So this is also super, super, super cool feature. Uh, in terms of entrance in the car, it's really big. You have plenty of, of space here and it looks quite nice. In terms of design, also it has a little bit of um, nice looking. They, they look a little bit like Ionic 5, to be honest, uh, but they are, they are nice from my point of view they are more than, than better than what was before in the previous uh, Kona. Good, talking about the, the doors, here on the doors, on the upper side, we have some plastic in this area, but you don't notice until you, you touch it because it has this little 
trim that it looks like uh, leather to be honest in this area we have soft material everywhere so everywhere here in this area we have this leather and then we have also here soft material in this area but it's different material than here here it's kind of a soft leather and here it's kind of a uh, rubber or something like that but also anyway it's it's quite soft here we have the handle we have the buttons for the windows electric uh, adjustable windows here lock and unlock button electric adjustable mirrors from here and also you can fold the mirrors by pressing this button quite quite simple also uh, enough storage space here in the door bands they can maybe make it a little bit bigger uh, but it's okay and then we have the speaker here by the way the car come with Bose sound system really good sound system the Bose system it's, it's really really great and I will probably test it in the future when I will have the car outside um, another thing that I want to talk uh, are the handles of the door pretty nice handles relatively big handles but I think they are they, they kind of created aerodynamic because it has a nice interesting aerodynamic added to them also you can lock the car by pressing this button and also unlock it the same um, the sounds of the door it's nice the quality it's good and also in the back the same story good quality on the doors you hear this quite nice let's go in the back now because we will do this video in reverse here we have like tinted windows on the back and I will show you also when we go outside the car um, and it's it's quite nice we have one piece of window if you want to fold it down you can fold it completely down this is another cool feature even though the window is not split in two you have a big window here on the door and then you have another small window on the body of the car the great part is that it's fold down completely and also this system works quite fast you can see how fast it goes up then the same story here plastic on the upper side here we have soft material the same kind of a leather soft and then here rubber it's great that we have where the arm is resting soft material the handle uh, the button for the windows this is also the handle to unlock the car it's feel good here we have a cup holder uh, space i think here they can uh, extend it a little bit more in the future maybe make more space for different items and then we have another speaker down here in the same design um, what i like very much is the fact that the entrance in the car here is much bigger than the previous version so you can go inside the car super super easy here big entrance look at this also, I like the fact that the roof is white, so it looks much more nicer inside and much brighter. Those are the seats and this is the space in the back here. I will go inside and I'll show you how much space you have in a second. Also, the same combination of leather with stuff material here in the middle. Um, also ISO fix for child you can install two child seats in the back without any problem I like very much I think those seats are quite unique and they look really interesting and really nice and also this textile this stuff fabric material feel good as you touch it feel good quality I think it will last for for many years and I like how they design the middle part here so they kind of design it for the third person so it's quite nice that they, they think about that what I want to um, adjust before I go in the back is my seat in the front because I because I film in the front I just adjust it too much on the back so I want to make it realistic so now it's it's good now it's good and I'm like 173 centimeters and I will go inside and I will show you how much space I have behind the front seats you have some plastic some storage space here let me go inside once I'm going inside, you will see there is my driving position, okay? 173 centimeters. This one, it's a little bit more in the back. And look at the space on my knees. I mean, oh boy, I have more than enough space, much more space than the previous version. And I can actually stretch my legs completely. This is crazy. I like that, super, super much space. Great job, I mean, Hyundai with this new Kona, um, I, I love it and the position here on the seats I don't have any space here I'm curious on the electric version if will be like that maybe one finger but I like the fact that my knees will stay down and my position here is quite nice by the way these seats you can also adjust it from here you can put it more more straight oh man it's hard to do that with with the camera and in the same time 
to adjust it so you can let me show you you have two position you have it like that and you have another position where you can push it all the way through so you have kind of two position kind of straight and a little bit more on the back but now it's all the way on the back and to be honest it feels nice to be here it feels comfortable for long trips really nice a lot of space i can stretch my legs there you can you can look and on my head i have like six seven seven fingers without any problem i love this white roof because it make the car interior much more brighter but now i feel like i'm in an suv everything feels much bigger inside here i know they make the car a little bit a few centimeters or a few millimeters bigger but you really feel that when you are inside the car and that's something that i like uh, in terms of visibility it's nice you have a small window here and you have a bigger window here good visibility you have a handle you have some hooks here also as i said the roof quality is not that bad uh, it's quite good and then you have another led light here it's nice you have a little bit of transmission tunnel maybe five centimeters in the middle once i'm going in the middle it's a little bit stiffer on my butt but also on the back here it's a little bit more stiffer um, it's not that bad you can stay here for long distances uh, without any problem also on my knees i have plenty of space probably you can stay with your legs also somehow together there uh, but yeah that doesn't bother me too much i have like five fingers over my head stretch my hand completely and also here completely yeah it's nice nice not bad i think three person can sit here for short to medium trips without any problem and the thing is that i'm really curious to see if the electric version will come with this transmission here or will be like a flat floor that will be really interesting in the middle here you have also two usb c ports some storage space actually a lot of storage space down there and you have those two vents uh, that are quite unique designed in comparison with other cars they are quite unique and the quality uh, feel very good I like the way it feels nice 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 as expected hyundai make fabulous cars and in the last years they make a lot of great cars and to be honest hyundai kona was kind of left behind from other models in terms of design beauty technology and they come with this new kona that looks really really nice really stand out this time and will be a great competition for for other car manufacturers but I, I like it to be honest i really like it here in the middle let me show you that you can also open this up you have an armrest in leather you have two cup holders here super nice what can i say great job let's go outside let's talk about the outside part of the car and we will actually start with um, the tank 38 liters on this hybrid version on the normal version that comes with one liter or i think also on the normal 1.5 liter version it comes with 41 liters it's a little bit bigger but on the hybrid version it comes with a smaller tank let me finish with the trunk and the interior and then we will talk about this super super beautiful exterior design now as i told you we have automatic lift gate um, in the trunk and it comes only on the top end version it doesn't come on the entry level version with automatic lift gate you will have a manual lift gate that's something to keep in mind but on this version it comes with automatic and it works quite quite good what i like very much about this trunk is the fact that this time it's square look at look at the kona before <laughs> look at the kona now i mean the the car is much bigger it's much brighter it looks it's it's other car it's not the same car it looks really much better and the entrance guys look how big it is it's square square down square up there in the corners it looks fabulous i mean it's so big you can fit in here big items without any problem like wash machine fridges and even mobile parts if you go to ikea or all other shops it's it's super super useful much better than before i like that really really big then i like the fact that we have some plastic at the entrance very nice designed and you have kind of a flat floor here you can 
fit in the stuff directly flat. This is also super, super good. You have some hooks in the corner here and also there and some storage space and LED uh, and you have hooks, hooks almost everywhere. And here is the subwoofer. And I think if you don't have the Bose sound system, you will have some extra space in this area. Uh, hooks here. And other than that, I want to show you something uh, even, even cooler. Look at this. This time you can take this protection, but first of all, let me show you the space down there. You can take it out completely and you have some extra storage space there. You don't have a spare tire, but you have uh, some storage space to put different items. I think it's around 10 centimeters, maybe more, maybe 15 centimeters. But the cool part is that if you pull it a little bit backward, you can leave it even more low so you win a few centimeters right now so yeah it's really nice really useful feature let me put it up back like that and now I want to show you this time if you want to fold down the seats guys here you have the possibility to fold it 40 20 40 so this is great and the great part is that it's very easy to fold down you have this button here just pull it up like that and then just push it down and you're good to go and it's a flat floor look at this you can carry long items like skis or uh, stuff and in the same time keep two passengers on the side and then if you want to fold the, the other part you just go here you pull it like that push it forward and you're you're good to go super simple super easy and i like those uh those those features that uh, kona come with and look at this guys i mean if you look from this angle everything it's flat it's perfectly flat you can even sleep here and you have a lot of space to carry big items like i said before a lot of space for for plenty of things here anyway from my point of view it's crazy crazy spacious and i want to show you really fast if you open this trunk here of the kona you can see on the upper side was square but in this area was not so square and was much more limited on the side much smaller trunk so yeah and this one you have huge space and it's also a little bit bigger in comparison with with this one here much nicer much nicer design you will see also on the exterior and if we go on the side right here also the quality on the doors are feeling much better if you go on the side look how much space you have huge space to entrance and also a lot of space uh, right here to put different items it's nice and also the quality here it's good nothing to to complain and down here on the legs room you can also add some extra extra uh, luggage or wherever you want to put down there it's really really useful anyway this is with the interior let me put everything back and we will go to the exterior to talk about the exterior part from my point of view it looks like a baby Tucson at least from the side if we look from the side of the car it's not so much space here that I can show you the car and the design but from the side the way they design the wheel arches and the lines of the car not sure if you can see it so well on this gray but it really really look like a baby Tucson with a little bit of um, Kia Niro and it looks much better from my point of view it looks gorgeous on these areas here you can see the lines and the sharp edges bring it too much in that area of Tucson. Tucson was a really big success and so many people love that car and I personally love the design. I think it's super futuristic and a new design, a very beautiful design and I like it very, very much. They still keep a little bit of Kona signature. For example, in this area down there, they still keep uh, this area but they design it in much much more nicer way from my point of view and what I like very much about the car are the fact that those arches here they are designed in a nice gray 
matte color and I think if you can paint the car in the same color as those uh, wheel arches the car will look just fabulous I really love this color this matte gray looks so so nice and I like the fact that somehow they make it square right now before it was like rounded you see here in this area but now they make it a little bit square those wheel arches they look more square like like a Tucson and the car look much more nicer much bigger it gives you uh, that impression of power it gives you that impression of nice premium car where if you look at the previous Kona it looks much more you know like like a simple model like a classic like a cheaper model but this one look much more expensive much more premium the round the shape it the lines the design in general look look really really cool and and i like it now if we go on the roof because i want to start with the roof with the upper design you can see even the radio antenna there has so nice uh, design and it's so premium i should say then we go here to the roof spoiler with this gray that extend from the down part of the window it extend it extend all the way up here on the spoiler it looks so so cool uh, i think the designer was really inspired with that decision because it looks really really nice and we have this little brake light up here in the middle it looks so sporty and so cool from my point of view look really really nice and i like that even the, the area up here it's kind of continuing with the design with that light tinted windows of course here on the back and on the side then you have this black uh, piano black glossy plastic on the side that continuing the aerodynamic of the car also they try to improve the aerodynamic with those round shapes these days it's a trend uh, to have the best aerodynamic and also it's very important for the consumption then if you go here you will see that wiper and you will see the transition between the window and the uh, the paint the body of the car it's really nice and smooth I like very much this bar that comes across the back of the car it's LED it's it's working kind of uh, like a daytime running light and also in the nighttime look really really nice I'm not sure if I have enough space here to show you the back of the car but from my point of view look really nice and I think they was inspired when they designed this uh, Hyundai and the right corner under the Hyundai logo they look really really much nicer really cool back of the car look look really gorgeous I, I don't have any element here that I don't like of course I have but it's not in terms of design but I will show you in a second as I said I like very much how they, they integrate this logo and the leathers then we have Hyundai also nice leather we have hybrid so you know which version it is and then let's talk about lights here we have the reverse camera this car come only with reverse camera not with 360 degrees camera and one thing that i don't like about the car and i don't understand why they did that why you have to to have an achille uh, point it's look at this we have halogen light on the number plate of course you can change it but why you know what i mean and then we have the fog lamp down here it's also normal bulb light halogen light also i wish this was uh, led but it doesn't matter too much anyway if you look from the distance it really look like an led and it looks quite nice and then we have the turning signals led they look great on the side then you have here the brake light it's led and here we have the reverse light that's a normal halogen light and this is also uh, an element that i wish was different but other than that it looks really much nicer look at there and look at here it's big 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 improvement it looks quite cool another cool thing that i like very much is the bumper i think is the most attractive beautiful bumper and i think it bring a little bit of quality and design from uh, ionic 5 because this look really a lot like ionic 5 in terms of also of design and i like very much those colors in matte so we have a gray dark matte we have a gray aluminum uh, brighter matte in matte color and it looks so so good i think they should keep this trend because they were kind of first to bring this uh, in this way and i think they should keep it because it looks really nice and it's a nice signature to keep it for for uh, long term and it looks gorgeous i mean the, the back bumper look fabulous and the exhaust pipe on the right side you can see it right there 
because this is a petrol engine. You can see it right there on the side. But other than that, super nice. Nothing to complain about the back of the car. Then you have also those lines here on the side, lines here on the down part. Also the Tucson look here on the side. Then again, very important is the fact that down here we have those protection uh, under the, the, the doors on the skirt here. When you open the door, you can see that protection goes with the door so if you hit something you can change them very easy and also they stand out very nice on the car they look really really good I like it in terms of the rims we have 18 inch rims I told you before very nice design quite similar I should say with the previous version look at there and look at here quite quite similar design but they are aerodynamic that's important we have brake discs so you can see there not ventilated on the rear normal brake discs but in the front we have ventilated brake discs you can look a little bit deeper there so quite nice and also in the front the same story i like very much that in this area here they protect it and they install these plastics in, in this area that protect the the paint of the car in time from scratches from stones and all that all that stuff and also it comes across uh, the edges of the of the wheels and then it goes in the front with the bumper. Now the mirrors look also very nice. I like very much the mirrors with the lines, with the design. Uh, the way they integrate it is great. We have LED light turning signals. Big, big mirrors, nice design. Blind spot technology in the corner, great. From this point of view, uh, nothing to say. Also the handles, you already see it. Really interesting, really different from the previous version. A little bit more aerodynamic. Here we have tinted windows. Between the windows, we have a mat black plastic so uh, it's very simple from this point of view uh, nothing changed there on the roof here we have some roof bars uh, and then we have the glass roof that you see it when we was inside that that looks also really cool then going forward in the front here on the windshield we have some cameras and sensors for raining and lights and other than that uh, let's go in the front this is the front of the car and this is the previous front of the car Look at this. We have this bar, LED bar that comes across the front of the car and it doesn't come on all version. Only on the top end version will come like that. But other than that, very round shape, uh, very aerodynamic. And also, as I said, it's built on an electric platform. So it should be designed like that. So the new logo here, quite nice, simple, integrated. Some lines here on the hood, very very nice design and then we have led light uh, this is kind of the new technology from hyundai in terms of lights in the nighttime they are super useful they look much nicer here we don't have any halogen light even on the turning signals it's led and they look quite quite nice it looks a little bit more like audi q8 it take a little bit of design from q8 in this area with the lines i feel like that when i look at at this and i think it's it's really really cool and also the matte design here on the down part we have four parking sensors on the front four parking sensors on the rear some gray matte in this area as well and also again as i said in the back there the same as they take the bumper from ionic 5 i think in the front here the same story they take this design a little bit from ionic 5 and it looks more futuristic it look more like like a like an electric car and here we have the rudder for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features and here we have a clapper that right now it's close behind this is the radiator and when the engine need to cool down it will open up completely and you will have all this place here in the front open to to let the air go inside there to cool down the different parts and then you have another air intake here where you can see the radiator there and some clappers and pedals that are open right now and they will also close in the winter to keep the worm inside there so very smart system uh, they bring on the car and i see it a little bit earlier uh, when i come here it was open and now it closed automatically to to keep the worm a little bit inside there so quite nice this is the exterior design guys so um, tell me in the comment what do you think about the design what do you think about this new Kona I will as soon as I get the car outside I will make a test drive and also I will take it out for another review and I will review also the other version 
the electric version of course and also we will talk a little bit more about it as soon as I, I will get it but for the moment it's hard to find one and I'm, I'm looking forward I'm really excited to to see the car and to present to you and I think it looks quite nice I think it stand out a lot this is the previous version and this is the new version really cool I want to show you one more shot from the front and then we will end up this video so check this out look at them the past and the future yeah one more thing I want to show you because I forget to show you is the engine bay I want to show you also the engine and the front part because uh, then I will have a lot of comments from you and I can also close the engine actually from here you open the, the front very simple like that and then the great part is that it comes with automatic lift gate so all you have to do is just put this on the side and then it will open up automatically you have hydraulic system here in the front so you can see the hybrid because this is the hybrid version smart stream g 1.6 liter petrol engine 105 horsepower plus 44 horsepower the electric motor here is the uh, the battery with the fuse box and then we have all this system right here and here is the liquid for the wipers so in general that was the car guys I hope you enjoy it I hope you get some useful information from the video I want to go inside to finish up this video and then we will um, talk in the other video I will try to make also the multimedia system video and I will try to make also the video with Apple CarPlay how to connect it I hope the video was useful it's quite complicated to make a review video inside a building with a lot of people around here and a lot of noise and sometimes music it's quite hard but i try my best to present you the car so i hope you get some useful information from the video i hope you appreciate that if you appreciate that if you find it useful please give me a like share subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet if you want to see the test drive video subscribe to see the future videos that will come on the channel thank you very much to all of you i can say my rating for this hyundai tucson from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 eight because i didn't drive it yet but i'm really looking forward to drive it and to see how it feels on the road but from my point of view it's a big improvement and right now we can say that hyundai kona really look nice and it's it's a big big competitor because hyundai make phenomenal cars if before you can say like okay kona mm, it's not so nice okay hyundai made it but it's not so nice now you can say that you can uh, i think it's it's a great great uh, city suv crossover so yeah that was my video stay safe thank you for watching and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys